Hey guys, Sin Rovers back here, and we have some great news. So, I'm not going to say this is official, but, well, it is official, but, um, I'm not sure if it's called Round 2 of the 3rd Anniversary, but this summon is coming up on the 31st, which is Tuesday of this coming week. So, I'm going to call it Round 2 for now. So, this is the 3rd Anniversary Round 2. And let me show you what characters are in it. So first off, it's a thousand year blood war summons. And I don't know, when I first saw it, I was surprised. But was I like over enthusiastic about it? Not really. I mean, I kind of saw it coming. I knew Yuha Bak was coming. And I knew, I wasn't sure about Ichigo because I thought they already did him, but... I guess the the one that came out earlier was a different version of him. And I was hopeful for Kisuke, and I had a feeling the the Yurorichi uh, form was going to come too. So, guys, this is, again, another amazing summons. And unfortunately, for round one, most of us have spent our spirit orbs. I have, like, let me see how many I have left. 411 so guys I do not have a lot left but I'll go through which characters I would like to have which would be very nice um, I mean a guy can dream right so I'll go in order I'll do two uh, numbering them in order of the ones I want most uh, first for usefulness um, meaning taking into account their skills and just how based off of the skills they have, which one should you get? Um, and then two, I'll go through, through my opinion, the order of which I just prefer because of how cool they are and how hyped I was for these characters. So, um, and I just thought about it too. So first off, based off of abilities, Yuha Bak is a must have number one. Out of all these, he is the first one you want. Definitely, he is gonna be game breaking um, reason I say that is, look here. At the beginning of any battle, he's going to have 10 barriers right off the bat. Which means you're going to have to hit him 10 times before you can actually start hurting him. Which is, in, in uh, verse battle, uh, PvP, player versus player, he's going to be a game breaker, no doubt. So he's a must have. Um, the other another thing to note is he transforms at some point... I think it was that his special move transforms him uh, into the form he took when he absorbed the power of the Soul King and surrounds him and his teammates in a barrier. So, it also switches his paralysis effect of attacks to weaken, which is pretty cool. And he is debilitator, meaning basically the side effect that could infect an enemy would last longer. So, that's a must have. Number two. I'm going to have to say Ichigo. Ichigo would be the next most useful character to get. Um, mainly because... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, mainly because um, he can transform. He temporarily transforms into that hollow form. And that's pretty good. And, he's, and the other must have was he's immune to two different status ailments, Paralysis and Weaken. That's going to be really good. And of course he has Frenzy, so that's good. Then I would say, it's kind of a tie, um, I would actually say Kisuke should be the next must-have, and then Yurorichi. Um, Yur uh, Kisuke has a revive ability now, meaning after you use a special move, any character who is alive at that point in the battle, who, any player you're playing with who's alive at the point of using your special, they if they die, they will be revived with 50% stamina, so half stamina will come back to them. Um, so that's really good. Uh, that's a really good special to have. And Yurichi is just, she's okay, you know, not bad. Um, I'll go through the stats a little bit. In case you guys are curious, you can pause the menu, pause the video here. That's Ichigo. 
those are his abilities, skills. Then we have, let's close that. Then we have Yawak, Yuhabak. Uh, there's his skills. And then there's Yurarichi. And skills. And then there's Kisuke. And there's his skills. Oh, and for the filler characters, I'm very excited about this because there are a bunch of characters I don't have. So out of the out of the twelve total possible, um, the characters I do not have would be obviously one, two, three, four of those guys, and then five, six, seven, eight. So eight out of the twelve I don't have, which is a, a very good chance I'm going to get a new character if I do get a five star, which is great. But the question is, what other filler characters are they going to be? And as I expect, you could get one of these types of characters. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, let's go back and then rate, I'll rate them based... Oh, I'm laying on my bed and it's not comfortable because my phone is dying. And la 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 la. Uh, in order of ones I just want, because they're cool, and I've been waiting for them, um, I would have to say, Yuha Bak, I really want. I've been waiting for him, because he's like god mode. Amazing. Um, I've wanted him for a long time. And then, number two, two and three are actually a tie. Ichigo and Yororichi. Yororichi, I love, because she's like super fast and this is the fastest form she's ever been in and so I'm like super hyped for that. Uh, Ichigo Tai because um, I've always wanted to play as his form and how epic he looks and I want to be able to play in his transformed state um, just because I think the transformed hollow uh, state is incredible and it looks like he has that long Zangetsu weapon which is amazing too so I'm pretty hyped for that and of course coming in last place Kisuke. Um, in case you don't know, Kisuke's Bankai uh, basically has the ability to restructure matter itself and reconstruct it in a way that makes it more effective or whatever he wants to do, basically. So he's basically a surgeon that can reoperate things to function in a different way to uh, work to his liking. So if he wants to transform his arm into a cannon, he could. If he wants to transform, you know, a pathway to increase the speed of which between point A and point B to get to point B faster, he could do that too. Uh, so he's pretty amazing in his Bankai. Um, I don't remember too much about Yorichi. And as far as Ichigo, his power scared Yuhabak. Um, Yuhabak saw the future and knew what would happen if he had let Ichigo continue using the ultimate form of his Bankai. And if he had let him continue, things would have gone bad. So Yuhabak broke the uh, his Bankai instantly, or the sword instantly. So that's how powerful Yuhabak is. Yuhabak is more powerful than Ichigo, actually. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below and who you want. And uh, yeah, I'm going to head out now. And remember, this is Simra over here, and i talk to you guys next time. Ciao.